Welcome back, everyone. Time for some more RimWorld. Things are, you know, they're going okay. It'd be hard to say they're going great here in Microton. People are surviving. Lynx is probably a little cold. Are you cold? Well, you're wearing frayed apparel. You don't like that very much. Um, not cold, though. That's good. Cloth pants. Shoddy cloth pants. That's probably the one that's messing her up. Do we have a decent pair of pants? What are these? 83%? That's a decent pair of pants. 57% awful pants. We don't want those. Hey, Lynx, come here. Put on these pants. I bet that'll make you feel better. Uh, looks like we forgot to put the, the roof back on after we did this. Remove no roof region. There you go. Uh, I always forget, and I probably always will. It's hard to get used to that new mechanic. Let's get things to speed up here a little bit. We've got Raymond, we've got Nicole, we've got Isadora. Isadora's cooking, which is always good. The rest of our team is hanging in there. Oh, we got a little bug going. A little graphical glitch following Raymond. Maybe it'll go away. Um, I updated to a new version, which sometimes comes with some weird little bugs like this. Uh, hopefully nothing too game-breaking, because... Uh, there was some important changes that I wanted to do. They, they, he rebalanced some of the temperature mechanics and some various other things like that. So it was seemed important to me to um, to actually do this, to actually upgrade. So I did. But the side effect is that is that we might get a few little glitches here and there. Is that in the home region? It is in the home region. Okay, just nobody has cleaned there and. Nicole was so good about cleaning for a while, she's just kind of surprised. God, you're such a slow miner, Lynx. Alright, let's see. Lynx, no, no. I'm gonna have to bump somebody up, and I guess it'll be Nicole. Somebody needs to research. Now you have zero skill in this, hang on. You've got three, alright. Let Raymond do some researching. So we need to do some research. The fact that we've gotten, like, 61 dots uh, on our first research project and we're this far into the game is is pretty terrible I gotta say and it's mostly a symptom of us not having the people uh, but that's no excuse we'll have to take care of it so we got our little cotton crop going this is our new indoor farm that we built last episode we got our little cotton crop going we've got our other crops going plenty of light I know we could expand this out a little bit larger, but I'm not going to mess with it for right now. Seems to be keeping it decently warm in there, so that's good. It's below freezing. That was a weird noise. Oh, I forgot. I forgot we were being sieged. Huh. This isn't even that long since the last time I did this. Oh, there's an artillery shell there. Hmm. Mortars now require artillery shells, by the way. I don't know if you knew that or not. Let's see, what can we do? Raymond, can you... Are you wearing... You're wearing a vest, right? You are wearing a vest, right, Raymond? You're gonna be my hero. Come here. Let's see if we can piss these guys off enough to come after us. They've only got five shots. Or four shots, because they're... They've only got four artillery shells. Doesn't look like they hit anything. If they've, if they've done it so far, they haven't hit anything. So, let's see. Can you? Yeah. Oh, we got a fire. It's alright. That fire's not gonna hurt anybody. Is that even in the home region? I mean, it probably is, or else they wouldn't have told me. Yep, it is. Alright, we're gonna expand that home region. Our people will get to it in a second. Raymond, we gotta watch what you're up to. Got these, hit these guys a couple times, that's good. Wobbles here's probably gonna be dead soon, I would think. A couple of decent hits. Gunshot, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's what I like to see. Oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> Took my hand off the keyboard there for a second. Alright, let's come back here, Raymond. I don't want you getting killed. Why are you taking that path? That's a really that's a really bizarre path there, Raymond. Let's turn this on. Where's the there's the switch? Who's our other person with a gun? You've got a shiv. You've got a shotgun. Alright, you come here. Raymond. Making his escape. We got three more 
One of them is wounded down here. We could potentially come back and get him. If they all survive, let's see. Oh, a group, a group of visitors are coming. Where are you coming from, visitors? Oh, I think we're about to have some assistance from our, our friends. Hope you are going to be in trouble. That is a weird place to stand. Yep, there you go. Links, how about we don't do that right now? Hey, they're fleeing, okay. Oh, never mind, you can do that right now. Alright, Pope, what do you look like? Took a, took a decent amount of damage. Let's turn this on, turn this on. This one is the medical, right? There we go. Alright, Raymond. Capture Pope, please. You're free, by the way. Did you guys kill those guys? Or you just let them go by? They must not be enemies of each other if they just... Just let them walk right past each other. Okay. You know, not everybody has to be fighters. Let's see what happens with Raymond here. Alright, Raymond. Not Raymond, Pope. Sorry. 69%, that's not bad. We'll recruit, recruit that guy. I'm gonna resist making the 69 joke because it's too easy. So we're just gonna slide on past that. So the question is, do we come down here and try to catch Squint? Squint is probably not long for this world and is actually not a very good psychically dull very neurotic that's not what you want to see well plus 30 percent global work speed that's not so bad incapable of skilled labor scary and hauling decent doctor and that's about it probably not worth the effort is anybody quick do we have anybody who walks fast i don't think we do Nope, 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 nope. Okay. How are you feeling, Nicole? Are you in a good mood? You're tired near an ugly environment. You... Lynx is very slow. Isadora... is feeling good. Alright. Isadora, come grab a squint here. He's probably gonna die before he gets back. Let's be honest. But, uh, well, we're gonna give it a try. Are you... Oh, I didn't mean to keep you drafted. I do, however, would like you to focus on treating Pope, please. I don't want him to die on us. I'm going to turn this into a medical bed as well, since Isidore is bringing that other guy back. Whatever his name is. Squint. Hopefully Pope does not die on us. All right. That's a lot of uh, a lot of visitors milling about over here. Oh, he died. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it was a long. It did a was a long time before we had a chance to, to take care of him. You can't haul, can you? No, you can't. All right. Can you actually? Can you haul this guy and Isadora? Focus on treating Pope. Let's swap out here. You're a little bit better doctor than he is. Not by much, but a little bit better. Is anybody a better doctor? No. Three, 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 three. All right. What is Pope? Is Pope potentially a new doctor? No, there's a fiery passion for it, but no. Good mining, good construction, psychically dull. Wait, where did I see that? I didn't. I made that up. Never mind. Pay no attention to me. I'm making things up. Links is. I feel like some people need, still need, are you cold tolerant? Somebody needs, you are cold tolerant, alright. Lynx, you want this, I want you to have this parka though. Got parkas, might as well, might as well rescue them. We're gonna need to come get this stuff. Um, I'll wait till somebody wakes up, and then we'll deal with it. Let's turn this back into a regular bed so that when Pope gets up, he can use it as a place to sleep. Once Raymond's up, I'm probably going to send him to go take care of our friends. Or our dead friend. Where are you going, Lynx? Oh, you're going to go take care of that? Alright, we'll let you... Uh, 
Let you handle that even though you're a little slow. Hope Pope survives. Let's go to three times speed. No reason to, to hang around waiting like this. Alright, Lynx. I actually would like you to strip this guy first. There you go. Are you carrying something or you, you just decided to do something different? Alright. We're going to take the guy home. We might as well take him home. Alright, orders. Claim. Claim all this. Deconstruct it all. Nicole is going to be on her way to de do some deconstructing. Pope has an infection. That's not good. We're out of medicine too, aren't we? We are out of medicine. Alright, let's see. If we push this wall out a little bit, we can put one zygum Zirgum, whatever you want to call it, thing in there. Um, let's think. Isadora. We have no vis nobody there. We're out of medicine. There's no medicine on the map anywhere, is there? Just sitting around. Sorry, I'm gonna do a little little quick look around here. These guys usually come with medicine, but they didn't bring any this time. Alright, no random medicine sitting around the map. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we need... We're gonna need to push this wall out a little bit. So let's see, structure... Not regular. Regular wall. Wood. Do that. So need to mine this out a little bit. Get it out of the way. And then we'll deconstruct this and grow some... Start growing some food in there. Or not food. Medicine. That other thing. Hopefully you survive, Pope. Health. Untreated. So far minor. Probably won't stay that way. We either need a passers-by to give us some chance to buy some medicine. Oh, that's a power suck we don't need. Or we need to have... Wait, there's no medicine in here, is there? No, okay. I suppose it would show up on there. We should probably harvest, like, get rid of all these trees in here too. <laughs> Just taking up space that doesn't need to be taken up. Ah, uh, Isadora. Oh no, I can't make you take things home. However, if you're not wearing a vest, which you're not, wear this before you go home. Should have made her take that gun, too. Now you, I can make haul things. Uh-uh. What are you doing? You need to haul this all home. None of this one food thing. What are you bringing home, Nicole? Wood? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Zadora is coming to get nothing. She's not doing anything. She's just just being her same problematic self. I'm worried about you. We got 32% immunity develops. I'm worried about you, Pope. I hope you make it. I'd like to have you on the team. It's a good name, Pope. I suppose we should start building you a home. One, two, space, one, two. That was not a very good space, was it? And just kind of, there we go. And down, and over. Oh, that room is too big. Cancel. There you go. Mm, we need to do something about this. this. These rooms are not the right size. I did not plan this correctly. Oh well. We'll put a door on the other side, too. Pope can be uh, harassed by people coming in and out of his home, although this... The lack of symmetry is bothering me. Oh, man. My precision clicking is off today. Here we go. Oh, we're having some power problems. It's probably from having that turret turned on too long. Might be a good idea to put some more batteries in, in somewhere as well. 
Okay, this is done. So let's see. We'll deconstruct this like that. All right? Yep, yeah, that's it. Yeah, there we go. And so we will put a another growing zone right here. And this one will grow sergum. There we go. What is this? Oh, we got somebody here. Male space refugee Chewy. It looks like he's naked. Is he naked? He is naked. Alright, we need a place to stick him. I've learned my lesson. We will be capturing, not rescuing Chewy. Because as we learned from last time, and actually the time before, well, the, last, the first time somebody died, but as we learned from last time, you have to capture them, you can't rescue them. Alright, let's take a look at this guy. He's got two gunshots, some blood loss, crack in the skull. He's a 30% chance to, uh, to join us, and so he will probably do so. But now we're going to have to build you a home, too. Alright, I'm going to worry about that later. Please don't die, Pope. Yeah. Hope you don't die. I like you, Pope. I don't want you to die. Alright. So, you know... Eh, it's probably not worth it. I was gonna say, we could probably save power by once the, uh... Once it gets to be really cold. Like, we get solidly in winter, we could just... Deconstruct this little bit of wall here and open it to the outside. But that's probably not worth all the... The, uh... Fuss. Looks like we got some decent clothing options. Somebody needs to come get these... Oh. oh, they had a lot of artillery shells. I take back everything I said about artillery shells. Actually, can you come haul these? I would very much like to get them in our uh, in our stockpiles. Furniture. Standing lamp right there. Wooden bed right here. Let's put some wood floors down. Maybe a pretty little plant. There you go. Those you should put some wood floors in this like one line of stuff that doesn't have floors too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Powers. Power's a problem right now. You know what we should turn off is probably this tailor bench. Nobody uses it. Because my people are too busy doing other stuff. If we get both Chewy and Pope into our team, um we'll probably I mean, we will probably have uh, enough people that somebody will actually be able to do that stuff. Uh-oh, what's this? Colonist needs bed. All right, Chewie's on board. Temporary bed in the hospital. Oh, no, no, that's not what I want to do. Temporary bed in the hospital for you, Chewie. You need to come get dressed, though. What do we have? We have some shoddy pants. We'll have to do for now. Severe illness, yep, Pope is not in good straits. Alright. Come wear this normal button down shirt. And this normal. Which one is who has the highest? 87, 88. Wear this. Do we have a hat? I feel like we had an extra hat somewhere. No, but we have a shotgun. Come get this shotgun. Alright, let's take a look at Chewy here. He's a good cook. Seven versus ten. Alright. He can do all these things, but he's not very good at them. Congratulations, you are now our researcher. And so you're pretty good at art, so we'll put that up too once we actually have a place for you to do art. Wardening, you're pretty good at warden. Actually better than Isadora, so that's good. Of course you'll control, because everybody controls. Doctor-wise, you're a 5, Isadora's a 3. There we go. Man, Chewy was a good get. Good job, Chewy. Pope, on the other hand, will might not survive. It's an extreme infection. We can keep him alive for a little bit longer. 15% to his immunity. Uh, we can. We don't still don't have any medicine. We haven't had anybody come in the area, right? No, still haven't had anybody come to the area. 
I feel really bad that we've let, I've let this uh, this happen. To be perfectly honest, All right? Pope is probably not long for this world, but he might survive. I'm not gonna build him a home unless he survives. Hey, he's up. All right, Pope. Let me see. Ninety-one percent. In extreme pain, your consciousness is very poor. 94, 95, 95? There's 90. Alright, I'm gonna watch Pope here. Let's see if Pope can make it. We gotta work on our light levels, though. No, go live here, Chewie. Alright, let's think about power. We can turn this light off. Don't need that to have power. For the moment, we, we did turn that off. These need power, that needs power, that needs power. Hmm. What do we need to do? We could use some more batteries, maybe? That might help. Let's deconstruct a little bit of this wall here. This will be, we'll put some batteries right there. Yeah, yeah. Stuff's flickering out again. Alright. These are turned off, right? Yes, off. These are off, okay. Pope, did you make it? Hey, made it. Congratulations, Pope. Way to way to uh, fight that infection off. Guy's a guy's a pro. Alright, so let's put some batteries here. Security, you no know, power. That's where we want it. That's where a battery would be. Two more batteries to join the, the party. I suppose I should start thinking about building Pope a home then. I wasn't going to build my home if you died. It's this trade ship, bulk goods. Means they're going to overcharge us for medicine, but that's okay. Alright, Chewie, as soon as you're done talking to Pope. Alright. Actually, that's not what I want. There we go. Bulk goods trader, what you got, man? Medicine. $49. Oh, I have to buy a few. We'll buy... Five of them? Oh wait, is this thing working with the ceiling on? I think it's working with the ceiling on. It seems to be. Alright, so let's see if there's anything we can actually make money off of. Squirrel skin? No. Steel? No. Hmm. I sell gold. I don't really want to sell any of this stuff. Alright. That's fine. That seemed like this thing, this beacon is actually functioning underneath the cover, which is weird. I didn't know it worked that way. Does somebody want to... You don't haul. Nicole, can you put this somewhere? I don't really want our medicine going bad sitting out there in the room. There you go. Uh, Alright, um, I think we're going to stop here. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, please leave me a like. It helps me out a great deal. And uh, consider subscribing if you haven't done that already. And I'll see you back here later for some more RimWorld. Thanks so much.